Russia-Ukraine War Latest News Russian and Chinese threatening the Arctic Sea, U.S. and allies step up patrols. In response to mounting threats from Russia and its quasi-ally China, the United States and its North American and European allies have staged the biggest Arctic exercise to date in an effort to fortify their alliance. On Monday, the northern Arctic waters became the site of the conclusion of Operation Nanook 2024. A statement from the U.S. Second Fleet announced on Tuesday that the following units took part, the Danish patrol vessel HDMS Lajkoke, the Canadian offshore patrol boats HMCS Margaret Brook and HMCS Harry DeWolf, the United States Coast Guard Cutter USCGC Northland, and the United States Navy destroyer USS Delbert D. Black. The Greenlandic capital city of Nuuk was the site of maritime interception operations, gunnery drills, search and rescue scenarios and fleet maneuvered drills by these ships. Located halfway between the Arctic and Atlantic Oceans, the island is the Danish independent region in North America. The expansion of collaboration between Russia and China in the Arctic has caused other states in the region tremendous concern. Despite being located 900 miles from the Arctic Circle, Beijing is trying to become involved in regional governance, while Moscow has been enhancing its military capabilities. Last month, the Pentagon unveiled a revised Arctic strategy that emphasized the need for improved intelligence-gathering capabilities, a stronger military presence, and closer cooperation with Washington's allies. With a thawing region facilitating access for different entities, the statement also highlighted climate change as a challenge. The U.S. Second Fleet hailed the Canadian-led exercise as the largest of its kind in the Arctic. The exercise, which aimed to enhance the cooperation between Washington and Ottawa, tested the capabilities of multinational forces to function efficiently in the harsh northern climate, according to U.S. Navy Vice Admiral Doug Perry, commander of the Second Fleet. This exercise demonstrated the robustness of U.S.-Canada cooperation and their mutual dedication to upholding stability in the critical Arctic waters. Reinforce the collective deterrent capabilities was the outcome of the Arctic exercises. The objective of Canada's defense exercise, Operation Nanook, is to ensure the safety of the country's northern areas. As the Arctic region becomes more accessible, state and commercial entities from around the world are becoming more interested in the long-term benefits of operating in the Arctic. According to Ottawa, American Special Operations Forces have just finished the first part of the Arctic, Bering Sea, and Alaska-based exercise Operation Polar Dagger, in addition to Operation Nanook. Frigate H. Noms Otto Sverdrup, which is part of NATO's Arctic fleet, finished a significant patrol in the Svalbard archipelago last week, according to a Monday announcement from Norway. These isles lay halfway between the Arctic Circle and Norway's northern shore, according to a statement on X, previously Twitter, by the Norwegian Armed Forces, patrolling in these strategically vital locations contributes to safeguarding Norway's interests and keeping tabs on regional activity. With a naval gun, torpedoes, anti-ship and air defense missiles, and weighing 5,290 tons, this battleship is ready for action.